So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be chatting about former Arsenal man Serge Gnabry, who has gotten himself a really good looking team of the season card that is 90 rated. The Bundesliga Tots came out earlier today and there are some great cards in it, so in the comments below let me know which players you want to see a video on. Also, if you could leave a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, Let's get back onto Serge Gnabry. Here are his in-game stats, and we can see he has a few 99s. He has the maximum stat for acceleration, shot power, and balance. He's also got an elite stat for his in-game dribbling. He's got 97 in-game dribbling, which is nice. Decent finishing and long shots of 90. The composure of 80 obviously isn't ideal, but he does have a solid combination of balance and strength, and we're going to discuss that more in depth in a few moments. Another standout stat on this card is his 91 crossing because you could use this guy as a wide cam if you wanted to do so and I actually think that would be a pretty good move. Right then getting into the in-game clips, team of the season Nabry, he is fast, he is very quick and that's always a positive in any FIFA. He does make some really good runs into space which was pleasing, he does like to run wide though which might be an issue for some people but I didn't mind it because this Nabry card is really good at getting down the wing. When shooting with this guy I really do advise you go for the power shot because the cross goal with this guy is class because his shot power is so damn good. His finishing's alright but his composure isn't the best so whether you're inside or outside the box like I said previously I really do advise the power shot because this guy... Um, it's like a rocket shooting with this guy, and he certainly can be a threat from distance too. His passing for a striker I thought was very good, the short passing is excellent, and the crossing was really good. I liked his dribbling, he controls the ball very well, and he can be a nightmare for defenders. But it is worth noting, he isn't as agile as other team the season attacking options, but he's still very good with the ball at his feet. I found that he protected the ball very well due to his balance. Um, and with him having 99 balance, he's rarely ever knocked to the floor. He can be knocked off the ball, but he'll stay on his feet, and with him being so quick, he is able to attempt to win the ball back, which is nice. Sadly, Nabry does only have a freestyle weak foot, so if you're going to use this guy, I do advise you use him as a right-sided striker or a right-sided wide cam. His left foot is, as you can imagine, pretty unreliable for shooting and passing. Physically, Nabry does have 79 jumping and is able to beat fullbacks aerially, but um, against centre backs, he has pretty much no chance. The stamina of 84 isn't ideal and he can tire quite quickly, especially if you're sending him on a lot of runs. But as a whole, it's a pretty damn good card, but um, I do believe he's better suited to being a wide cam than a striker. But anyway, let's get into the summary. The positives. This guy is fast. He's solid in possession, has a cannon of right foot, and for a smaller striker, his strength is impressive. He's also a creator. His general passing for a forward is very good. The negatives. The composure, the weak foot, and the aerial ability. I really do rate this card quite highly, and I will be using him again, but um, he'll be starting as a wide cam instead of a striker. So do I think Team of the Season Nabry is worth the coins? He's currently around 250k to 300k. And the Bundesliga has some fantastic striker options. 89 Aubameyang, 88 Werner, 88 Bashoai can all be picked up for less than 150k. And they are top class strikers with great finishing ability. Now, they're not as good as Nabry in other areas, but they are all better at finishing than Nabry. So as a striker... At 300k, I don't think Team Season Nabry represents good value for money if you want a finisher. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on this 90 rated Team Season card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below. If you tried this card, let me know how it was for you. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.